Hello everybody and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. I'm a little irritated with myself because I took a break that I really shouldn't have really taken, kind of wasted an hour of my time that could have been useful. And all, at the time of when I was editing videos, I could have also been doing other things. <laughs> Today I was kind of, I don't know, I've been being so dang lazy in terms of other things. But, um gotta get back to work here and I don't know maybe I can say that laziness was put to somehow some sort of good use if I can actually say that because I went back and I actually cleared um I don't think it had anything to do here did it no I I actually saw that yeah I could get these traces up and then I was able to get these things here done I went and cleared Memory memory Hall Stage 9, I actually got it with all three stars. This time because I was actually focusing more on actually breaking the enemies instead of attacking them like I normally do, because breaking the enemies does do more damage, and it helps out a lot more. And currently I have maxed out the relics that are on Jupiter right now, the protagonist, and... What I am waiting for now is to get to, um, level 40, uh, in the Trailblaze rank, so I can get the Equilibrium level 3 to level up characters to level 60, and then I still don't think I'm gonna clear stage 12 of the Memory Hall until probably after I get to level 70. As a... What? Hey, who are you? No matter who you are, can you please just get out of the way? You've been stepping on the door to the base for too long. Angry curses can be heard from the sewers below. The manhole cover can talk? What manhole cover? How rude. I'm Michael, get... Michelangelo? The manhole cover is a name? Do you even understand the words coming out of your mouth? You should think the stars our base entrance is now being blocked by you. Otherwise, I would have beaten your rear end of like... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's a- they actually have some Teenage Mutant Ninja stuff going on here. We just had some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference! You know, sometimes people say that when you do one thing, it'll lead to a series of another things. So if that's true, then I guess that break I took led to the series of me actually getting that book thingy the guide thing progressed more, and actually finding that that I probably never would have found in any other way. Anyway, we need to continue the survival painting quest. Thanks again for agreeing to this. Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't be. I only just arrived myself. The highest priority for today is establishing good negotiations with the Chief of Wildfire. I'm about to get that process underway. Serval was a little delayed on the way over, but that doesn't affect our schedule. Let's set off. Hold up, I wasn't that late. Negotiations will be held in the Boulder Town Clinic. Serval and I are newcomers, so you'll have to lead the way. Let's go. The underworld isn't exactly how I remember it. Feels like we're not getting many friendly looks, huh? Bonk. Well, well, well. I don't think our little clinic has ever played host to an occasion like this. We meet again, Mr. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg will do, son. Oh, you. You probably won't know, 
Our young Silvermane friend here and I had the pleasure of speaking to each other at a certain guardian succession ceremony. We're not complete strangers. But as for this young lady... The name's Serval. I'm, uh, an ex-engineer from the technology division and... Japard's sister? Pleasure to meet you, Chief. Likewise, miss. The more the merrier. And it's good to have you here again. It bothered me and Natasha that we never arranged a formal welcome for you. Once we're done talking, you must all join us for a meal. We'd be honored. But to your point, Oleg, let's finish our discussions first. Quite right. Let's head inside. Too much commotion out here. Hmm. Huh. So she's your sister. <laughs> The Landau family is full of talented young people, I see. I can't get a good angle in here. Why are we all situated in weird ways? You're worried that Underworlders might still hold a grudge against the Silvermane Guards. So you want to show your solidarity with the Trailblazers to build some trust. Seems like a sound strategy to me. Rebuilding trust between the two worlds has always been a priority for Lady Bronya. People here must have felt abandoned by the guards after the passage was sealed off. If we were to simply take over the Underworld in the name of the Supreme Guardian, I can only imagine how people would react. Seems like you have a good handle on the situation. I see now why you made Captain at such a young age. <laughs> so, you're also saying the guards want to work with Wildfire and use our reputation to win back people's support, correct? I wouldn't use those exact words, but that is more or less what we want to achieve. If that's the case, I've got a question for you. Since this offer comes from those who left us to our fate for more than a decade, how would you react if Wildfire refused? Hm? Would you use force? Uh, she's not trying to be diplomatic about it, is she? Starting to worry about your brother? Choose your words wisely, Jeppy. <sighs> the barrier between the surface and the underground was the product of the former Supreme Guardian's misjudgment and the policies that resulted from it. The people of Bellabog should have stood together, but instead, we were made to blame and hate one another. Lady Bronya wants Bellabog to heal, so the Silvermane Guards need to regain the people's trust but we won't achieve that by kicking doors open and policing everyone around. As a grassroots organization, Wildfire did an extraordinary job maintaining order for over a decade in the absence of the guards. I can only imagine how much work you put in to protect the underworld. I can assure you that the guards are not here to seize power. If it takes time for the people to trust us, so be it. We're willing to take small measures and serve as an auxiliary force to Wildfire to help maintain peace. I hope you can see that everything we do, we do to rebuild trust and make Bellabog work for all. <laughs> Little Jeppy has grown up. I've never really seen this side of him before. The more you learn. <laughs> That's an answer I can accept. Oleg, what do you think? <laughs> I think there's no need for the guessing game to continue. It's obvious we share the same goal. With the help of Branya, Serval, and Chapard, we're one step closer to rebuilding a united Bellabog. I agree. Tell Branya that Wildfire will work with the Silvermane Guards on security matters. However, things aren't simple down here. Please also tell her to draw up plans in case the situation demands... Monsters! Monsters from the Fragmentum! They're swarming toward the town! Not good. Stay here, Natasha. The patients need you. The soldiers and I will handle this. Understood. We'll be counting on you. Everyone rushed outside. I should probably see what's happening. Please, 
Help my friends! What happened? The, the monsters invaded the mine. Please, you have to save my friends. Otherwise, those things would tear them apart. Don't worry. The Silver Main Guards are trained for these situations. Where do we find them? The Great Mine! The one with the big ore vein! Understood. I'll send my men to set up a perimeter and start the rescue operation right away. Mr. Oleg, please entrust the Silver Main Guards with the rescue. The defense of Boulder Town will need Wildfire's expertise. Watch out for ambushes, and be ready to receive wounded soldiers. <laughs> You're a natural-born commander. Understood. Leave it to me, son. Your troops will be unfamiliar with the layout of the mine. I'll send some of my men to be your guides. Thank you. In the name of the preservation, I promise we'll do everything we can to save lives. I'll go on ahead and lead the troops to the mine. Catch up to us when you can. I couldn't get a word in while they were talking. A duty-bound soldier and a resistance leader. It's hard to be rock and roll in front of people like that. You know, maybe I need to put my inner struggles in a broader context. <laughs> rock and roll means choosing your own way of living. My own way? <laughs> I don't even remember what kind of life I want. It's just... I see people fighting for their lives, and here I am thinking about how to escape. I feel guilty about that. Wait a minute. Was that Japart's plan all along? He was guilt to make me stay? Well, surely he couldn't have foreseen a monster invasion. Mm, that's true. Anyway, since he asked for help, it's time to give those monsters a shock. You know the way to the Great Mine, right? Let's catch up with Japart when you're ready. I'm that's ready. all you needed to say. Let's go. Put all artillery units on standby. Wait for my command to bombard enemy positions and cover our infantry advance. We have a choke point here. Tell all infantry units to switch to double line formation. Close quarters in front, gunners behind. Remember, get the wounded out as soon as possible, and always secure your flanks before advancing. Yes, sir! Ah, you're here. Get ready. We need to help the infantry lines drive deep into the mine. How's the situation? The back of the mine has been secured, which gives us a forward base to send in supplies. The Silver Main Wildfire Combined Regiment is conducting rescue missions as they advance. The battle is fierce. I need to get to the front line. I'll leave the command post to my officers. I... I don't know much about warfare, but I don't see why a commander needs to lead the charge. The situation here is totally different from the restricted zone, Jepard. Let me and her clear the way for you. You should stay in your command post. Thanks, Serval, but please trust my judgment on this. I made a promise to Mr. Oleg to save as many people as possible. I have to see to it myself. There's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, we'll do it your way. Let's move out. We need to clear a way for Wildfire and the guards. All civilians, hey, please go going. to the bridge immediately. The Silver Main Guard. There's a monster heading this way. What should we do, Jepard? Bring it down. We need to cover the retreat. Man, I wish you let me hit it myself so it could already be a little weak. Calm your body and mind. Tedious. You're in bad shape. Let's make it quick. It made it easy for us, but we can't let our guards down. It's safe here. Let's move on. Ooh, don't get too close. Jepard, look. The miners have put up a makeshift defensive line. Uh, 
are you? The Silvermane Guard? That's right. We're evacuating the miners together with Wildfire. Are there any other civilians up ahead? The Silvermane Guards and Wildfire are working together now? Oh, civilians. Ah, I saw a girl run out from our defensive position just now. My brother went after her, but they haven't come back. Understood. I'll bring them back. The guards and Wildfire have set up defenses on the bridge. You should head over. Thank you. Please, bring them back to safety. Uh, oh no! Uh, monsters are coming this way! Leave the battle to us. You need to fall back. Okay. Thank you for saving us. Oh boy. Stay alert. Why, this can only go perfectly. You can still walk away. I won't go easy on you. Fleeting light, roaring flood. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Rules are made to be broken. Decisive strike! Nap time. Stand down. A blade of moonlight. Let's keep searching for the missing girl in the miner. Is it me or is it cold here? Oh. <laughs> They're in danger. Let's go. Eh, I thought about waiting. <sighs> oh god. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me actually get this thread. Stay alert. Take this. <sighs> Leave the rest to me. Calm your body and mind. Stand down and I'll spare you. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> You're in bad shape. Let's go. I won't go easy on you. You know, if I leveled up the relics for Fleeting my other light. characters Roaring here, I think flood. I probably would have a better time in fights, but a like, blade of I know how bad it got in Genshin when you used a bunch of supplies and things like that, and I don't want to waste my resources <laughs> for, for things shot? that I'm actually going bigger. to use later. Like, I don't want to waste them on shit I'm not going to use right now. No way. Don't want to do that. You know nothing of the weight behind. Witness the stars shatter before you. I'm already kind of Survive still wasting a lot because I'm. There is no other choice. And Mr. Yang aren't exactly probably going to be permanent members of the team. Calm well, your body. Natasha and definitely isn't going to be a permanent member because when I get by Lu, Natasha's gone. Naughty children, you're in bad shape. Natasha right now is just essential. Like she's she is kind of needed. <laughs> You two, it's too dangerous here. Find the Silvermane guards and wildfire at the bridge. They'll protect you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Zeno. Take my hand. Let's get out of here. It's so cold here. I'm scared. The monsters have gotten stronger somehow. I don't remember them being this difficult. Thank goodness we got here in time. If we'd arrived any later... That's one brave little girl. 
You were like that at her age, too. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. I only had Dad to deal with. He could be fierce, but nothing like the monsters here. Besides, my problem with him wasn't that he was a strict father. I just couldn't believe that he never lifted a finger to oppose Kakolia's order to seal the passageway. Vowing to protect the Underworlders in one breath, and then deciding they deserve to be abandoned in the next? Family code of conduct. What a joke. Father was a soldier. He wasn't supposed to question the orders from his superiors. N never mind. I know I sound like I'm defending him, and I don't want to make you angry. At least now we've got the chance to right the wrongs. I'm angry just thinking about it. Looking back, I'm glad I left home early. Running away doesn't solve the problem. It's been ages since you two had those fights, but you still can't let it go. You need to walk out of his shadow. Uh... <sighs> I'm not trying to change your mind. I just want to know that your choice to leave this planet is a result of having thought things through. Not because you're trying to run away from something. My choice. Sorry, I sound like Dad. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I get what you're trying to say. I, I do. It's just... I need some time. Let's focus on the business at hand. That miner we met said his brother came this way. We should look around. Okay. Be careful, though. I sense a drop in temperature. Something's not right. It could mean something we haven't encountered before is waiting for us. Stay on your toes. Yeah, there's always something we probably haven't encountered. <sighs> These monsters are tough. I need to find those kids. Hey, did you just scare off a Fragmentum monster? Uh, kind of. There was one on its own. I managed to chase it away. Speaking of which, you came from that direction, right? Did you see two little kids, a girl and her brother? They retreated to a safe area. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I chased the monster too far and lost them. They'll be okay now. You should head back to the bridge, too. The guards and Wildfire have set up a safe zone there. Oh, thank you, all of you. I'm just glad they're okay. I can finally retreat as well. I heard there's a powerful monster down the road, some kind of leader of the pack. I take caution. Thanks for the intel. We'll be careful. I think he was right about the monster. You two, oh. no sudden moves. I've seen this type of monster a few times near the restricted zone. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. I, I don't. I, I doubt it that it's like this, but I wonder if every enemy type like that is a remnant of a supreme guardian that's died. Because that's kind of what Wait, it was. Don't get too close. Something's not right. We had this thing for the for Kakolia Shadow, whatever it was. And then we had... No, wait, the Koi didn't appear as this thing, did she? No, the only Supreme Guardian that I know that appeared like this was Creel, right? But they do call him Guardian Shadows, so... Huh? What is it? These monsters are usually eager to fight. You're guaranteed a fierce battle if you see one in the Fragmentum. But this one doesn't seem concerned about us. This could be a trap. Trap laid by a Fragmentum monster? Are they that smart? I'm not sure either. I just have a feeling that something's different. The air... It's so cold. Stellaron... Promises... Survive. Did it just... Talk? Steady. Get ready to counter its attack. Can Jepard not hear that? Jepard... Survive... Londau... Did it just say Jepard and Serval? Ah, that noise! Do Fragmentum monsters usually sound like this? It's talking to us. Can you not hear it? Talking? I just hear white noise. Wait, you understand it? It's repeating your names. Our names? What's happening here? I heard rumors about this kind of monster. 
Shadows in the fragmentum that assume human form are echoes of the will of past guardians. Well, if the rumors are true, could it be? Is this supposed to be Kakoya? Kakoya, you, you just won't stop haunting me. I try everything to put the past behind me, and yet you always manage to creep up again. Kakolia, you... You... Witch! You've terminated my research and ruined my life. What else do you want to take away from me? Calm down, Serval. It's just a fragmentum illusion. All that time we spent together... Was any of it real? It was so easy for you to just leave this world behind. Don't you at least owe me an explanation? Serval! Londo, stand down. Serval, watch out! There is no place for you. The promised new world. Sister, I know you want Madame Kakolia to respond, but this thing in front of us is our enemy. It was born out of the evil gathered in the Fragmentum. You won't get answers from it. <sighs> Fight with us, sister. Let's dispel the shadow of the past once and for all. Of course, if you're not yet able to confront the past, then she and I will fight for you until your heart is ready. Are you coming with us? Let's take it down. You too. I'm sorry, brother. I always make you worry when things get serious. But I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology, huh? Well, seeing as we've come this far, Kakolia, let's settle this bad blood right here, right now. Well, just a scratch. Okay, not fair, but whatever. Rules are made to be broken. You've outstayed your welcome. Calm your body and mind. Tedious. Oh, oh, hell. <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Remember this moment. Tedious. A blade of moonlight. <laughs> Let's make it quick. <laughs> Nap time. You can still walk away. Calm your body and mind. <laughs> Let's go. I don't really want to waste the ultimate on that. Naughty chill, savor the vigor of Leave the rest to me. Yeah, well, we'll definitely kill it. Because every night I will save your life.